Ayo, hey what's going on everyone? Nathan here. So it's actually been quite a while since the last time I did like a desk setup update. And since the last one, I've actually had a bunch of upgrades to my setup. This is what my desk setup used to look like. And it was obviously missing some key components to any setup. But now with a couple upgrades, I have definitely managed to like make it more cohesive and complete. So I want to put it out there, I'm still in college. So I believe that most of these items are affordable. Like they're not the top of the line premium items for any desk setup. But I think that they are great for what they are. And most people people will be able to afford them for themselves. So if you like any of these items, I'll leave affiliate links down below so you can check them out for yourself, a little easier for you to find them. So with that being said, let's start off this video with actually not what's on my desk, but what's around it, and with these awesome new wall decorations. They're made by a company called Grid Studios, and they make a bunch of really cool, awesome frames of disassembled old tech products. They sent me the iPhone 10 and also their iPhone and iPad badge collection frames. So just a quick disclaimer, Grid Studio did send me these products to feature in a video but they did not sponsor this video so everything I'm about to say are my own true thoughts and feelings about it but I mean come on just look at them they look sick they completely take apart their products and organize them in such a beautiful way and then add labels and details about what each piece is I asked for the iPhone 10 because I used to own the 10s and this design is just nostalgic to me and it was also a huge turning point for Apple because of this new iconic design. Probably my favorite detail on this is the Steve Jobs quote that says, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to become. I think this quote is so awesome and I actually didn't even know it was from Steve Jobs originally. I've heard it before and it just has a special place in my heart. So really cool how it's on there as well. Then I also asked for the iPhone and iPad badge collection, which has most of the iconic designs and releases over the years. Each badge also has the starting price and release date of what that product was. They're made out of metal, feature the chipset for that device. And what I really like is that each one also has that special color for each product. So for example, like the iPhone 13 Pro came out in that Sierra blue color, which actually what my phone is right here. And I think this is my favorite color that Apple has ever released. And on the badge for the 13 Pro, they have the Sierra blue. And I think it's just a really nice touch. But don't worry if you're not an Apple fanboy like me, then Grid Studio also does have a whole bunch of other tech from Game Boys to Samsung products, the Google Pixel phone. So I would definitely recommend going to check them out because I really do like the frames that they make. So I've been meaning to give back to you all my community for quite a while now, and I've just been waiting for like the right time and moment to do it. You all have just made this possible. I know my channel's still relatively small, but you all like keep me going, keep me grinding with the awesome comments you send me and just like the growth and it makes it possible for companies to like send me products like these right here. So I actually asked Grid Studio their thoughts on if I were to give away one of these two they sent me to one of you and grid studios was awesome enough and they're actually going to kind of support this giveaway right here and we're going to be giving away an iphone 10 frame together to one of you by random so there's four things you're gonna to have to do to enter this giveaway the first is you're gonna to have to subscribe to this channel second is go to the comments on this video and comment your instagram handle so once when you leave your handle go over to instagram follow me on Instagram, and you're gonna follow Grid Studio on Instagram as well. So those four things will get you into the giveaway, and I will personally DM you myself on Instagram, and from there, Grid Studios will send you the iPhone 10 frame, the one you see right there, for free, free of charge, and I think this is an awesome way, an awesome company to finally give back to my community. So those four things right there, you'll be entering into the giveaway. Super stoked about this, my first one, so let's go. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm going to announce the winner on April 10th. So depending on what day this gets released, it's about three weeks from this video's release. So go over there, do everything on the giveaway. And if you're a lucky winner, I'll reach out to you on April 10th. So getting back to the desk setup, let's move over to the desk and chair. And these were both provided to me by Syracuse University. And I did not have a say in the shape or size of it. 
but honestly, this desk is much nicer than my previous one, even though it is smaller. This desk is 35 inches by 23 inches for reference, and it looks decent, just a little smaller, and it only has one tiny drawer, which is kind of useless, but I just put a little couple things in there. But besides that, the chair was also provided to me by Syracuse, and it's just an average chair. Nothing great, nothing spectacular. So these are two areas that I do want to be looking forward to in upgrading in a future desk setup when I'm out of college. So moving on to the core of my desk setup, and that is the 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro. This has by far been my best purchase ever, and this is such a great laptop. The screen is a gorgeous 120 Hertz Liquid Retina XDR display. It has accurate colors gets really bright and has a form factor that makes it perfect for me to bring to class. It has all the ports I could need, including an SDXD card slot, which I use all the time and I'm so happy it has one of those. I have the base M1 Pro model and for 90% of the video editing I have done in Final Cut Pro, it has worked perfectly fine and including like making proxies when I do that with this laptop, it runs flawlessly and it's just such a great product and I would actually still recommend it even though the new M2 models are out now. You can actually get this one on discount and it's great. It's great for so many people, especially if you're like gonna use it for creative purposes. Go with this laptop, it's an awesome purchase. So my laptop is kept in the back of my desk by the Amaton Vertical Laptop Stand. It is a relatively cheap and clean looking stand. It has two slots so we can actually place both my laptop and my iPad in there if I wanted to. It has some good weight to it so you don't have to worry about it easily getting pushed off the desk. And what I really like about it is that it keeps the bottom of my MacBook open to the air so its cooling system can work efficiently and it just keeps my laptop running at peak performance, especially while video editing. So the next and biggest upgrade I have made since my last desk setup video is I now have a monitor. I really needed one. And the one I went with is the LG 27 UN 850 ultra fine monitor. At the time making this video, this monitor costs around $375. And for that price, you're getting a modern bezel-less design with a beautiful 4K 27 inch display that has a matte coating on it. This has a 4K IPS display with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, which is typical for the majority of displays out there. And it has very thin borders all the way around with a small chin on the bottom with LG's logo in the middle. This monitor has a screen resolution of 3840 by 2160 and has 163 pixels per inch. So it is really sharp for the overall size of a 27 inch panel. So this monitor only runs at 60 Hertz. So it's definitely not the best for gaming, but I don't game on it. So I didn't like really care about that. Just something I wanna put out to you but it also has a max brightness of 350 nits, which has been plenty bright for me in my room, especially with the shades open. And there's also 3H anti-glare coating, which is just a little matte screen over it, and it really helps with glares from different light sources. So I've never had a problem, and I usually use my computer at around 60 to maybe max 70% brightness during like midday. So brightness has never been a problem for me with this monitor. This exact model is also sold in two different mounting options. The one I have is LG stand that supports height, tilt, and pivot adjustments. But this monitor also is sold with a monitor arm if you want that, but it does cost about $100 more. It has a maximum height of 22 inches and a minimum height of 17.7 inches. You also get a good amount of ports on the back of this monitor, which is really helpful for me, especially with different accessories I have around it. So for the price of this monitor, it is really awesome and a great bang for buck, especially if you're on the market for a 4K monitor. And I have loved it, especially for video editing, coming from a 14 inch laptop screen to this now 27 inch monitor. It's been awesome and I highly recommend it. So another product I recently picked up and I've been loving so far is the BenQ Screen Bar Monitor Light. Since I spent a lot of time at my desk video editing, script writing, and also doing homework, I realized how dark it actually got by my desk. And especially when trying to use a calculator for homework and stuff, I realized I needed a light and it's been a great addition so far. Attaching it to your monitor is very easy. You just place the bar inside of the clip and rotate it down a little. Then you put the weighted end of the mount on the back and then align the front lip to the edge of your monitor. This light bar is powered by an included USB-A to USB-C cable, and this can be powered directly in from your monitor, which is nice for clean cable management and just one extra cable you don't have to worry about as it just plugs right into the back of your monitor. This has 500 lux lumens to light up your desk space area, which has been surprisingly bright, I've found. 
I actually at night use it at its lowest setting because it just gets way too bright. So during the day, if you need a little brightness, it could definitely get bright enough to help you with that. But I, I pretty much just use it at the bottom level. So it just shows you how bright it actually does get. There are four touch buttons on the top. The first is the brightness adjuster with 15 levels of light intensity. Then there's a temperature range from 2700 to about 6500. There's an auto dimmer, which utilizes an ambient light sensor and adjusts the brightness and color temp accordingly. And finally, on the right hand side is the power button. The build quality is also really nice as it's made out of aluminum. And if you're wondering, it has a length of 18 inches, which makes it wide enough for probably most workspaces where your hands are. The last point I wanna make about this is that it leaves no screen glare on your monitor itself. And from me using it right now, it works really well, especially at night. There's just, there isn't any glare on the screen and it just all shows up right there at the bottom where your hands are. And I've been loving this addition to my desk setup so far. My speakers for this desk setup are the Edifier R1280DBs. I picked these up about three and a half years ago and they sound great for the price. These are Bluetooth, which is one of the main reasons why I picked them up. And they also have control dials on the right speakers to adjust the bass, treble, and volume. So I will admit these might be a little large for my desk setup and don't exactly quite match with the wood, but these are like what I got a couple years ago and there's just no point upgrading right now to another pair. Um, so I'm just gonna leave them from now. They sound great. So those are the speakers for this desk setup. So moving on to the peripherals of my desk setup, the keyboard I'm using right now is a Logitech MX Mechanical mini keyboard for Mac specifically. This is a $150 compact modern productivity keyboard aimed at users that want that tactile feel of a mechanical keyboard and also enjoy their experience whether typing papers, doing work, or using it for creative reasons. This keyboard has 84 keys, including full-size arrow keys. And since this is designed specifically for Macs, it has media buttons for quick access and control to popular commands that I really do like. The keys are a soft touch plastic material and feel really smooth and have the slightest concavity to them. This keyboard has Logitech's tactile quiet switches and for the Mac version specifically, you cannot choose other switches. These are the only ones that are offered, but in my opinion, I have really enjoyed the feel of them. So I really enjoy this keyboard's slim, modern design and solid build quality. The typing experience has been very satisfying with its more flat keys so I don't misclick as often as I did with my older keyboard. So I know the $150 price tag is slightly expensive, especially for Logitech, but if you're looking for something made for Macs that has great build quality, I don't think you can go wrong with this keyboard. It's a great pickup for me. So moving on to the mouse, I have the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse. So I specifically got this mouse because I wanted to speed up my video editing process and the horizontal scroll wheel has been amazing. The ergonomics are fantastic and there are seven total customizable buttons and this mouse has to be near perfect. Again, I have the pale gray colorway and this has definitely shown some wear over the time as now you can kind of see it kind of browning on areas but I'm just a big fan of like the white setup. I think it looks really clean. So I'm gonna have to put up with the mouse getting a little dirty for that whole aesthetic and look, but they also do have darker colorways if you want that. This is easily one of my favorite purchases for my whole desk setup. And if you're into video editing, then I highly, highly recommend this mouse. You will not regret it. So I pair my mouse with the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0. This is essentially an ergonomic wrist rest that moves along with your hand. So I was very skeptical at first before I purchased it, if it really did like stay with your hand as you move it. And I'm so glad to tell you like it really does. It works very well. The thing is when you lift your hand off your mouse, you kind of lift it in a way where the wrist rest just stays where you last left it off. So when you go back and put your hand on the mouse again, it's just right there. It glides super smooth over the surface that I have, which is the Grove made mouse pad, which I'll get into in a second, but I don't feel it lagging or dragging at all. And it really has helped me like save my wrist a little bit beforehand on hours on editing with my mouse. My wrist would feel some strain, but with that, I feel no strain on my right hand and it's just a nice little addition to help you, especially if you're at your computer for long periods of time. So like I just mentioned, all my peripherals sit on the Grove made wool desk pad. So I got this in the small size because I wanted something to bring my setup together. This wool material has been better than I thought too. It does not shed all over the place. It is super soft and warm and just feels welcoming. And this also seconds as a mouse pad for my 3S mouse and I haven't noticed like any friction or any dragging when moving my mouse over it. 
it's been pretty great. So since I featured this desk pad in a different video, a bunch of people have commented and asked me if it leaves my hands itchy, as I guess it happens to some people. So I'm a very, very like skin sensory like type of person. Like if there's a tag in my shirt, kills me, kills me, I hate it. My hands are a big thing too. And I'm telling you like I have never, never, never felt like itchy or any like irritation from this mouse pad. I think it's very soft. I think my hands are always on it. Like yeah, right now I'm like wearing uh, sweatshirts and stuff like that. But sometimes just in t-shirts, my hands are all over the place on it and I have not had any problems. So that's my personal experience. Maybe watch a couple more reviews on it but it does not bother me, and that would be something that would bother me if it was doing that. So moving on to my headphones, these are the AKG K361 wired version. I went with this model because I heard that they are more accurate, especially for video editing, and I wanted a cheap pair of like audiophiles type of headphones to help me accurately edit my audio. These have honestly been very good. They have a super wide sound stage, and I didn't realize how different music sounded from my AirPods Pro to these. The AKGs also get extremely loud, and I only ever go up to like a max of like 80%, and usually my AirPods Pro, I like consistently rock 100%. The AKGs get super loud, so if you're wondering about that, don't worry. <laughs> They'll definitely blow out your eardrums for sure. So please don't roast me too hard, but I don't have like enough room on my desk setup to have headphone stands. So I pretty much just leave them like coiled up and then I leave them like on the side like frame of my desk setup. They sit there, they're out of way when I don't need them. So I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works for me and that's what I'm rocking with right now. So the lights behind my monitor are the Govee Smart LED Light Bars. These are a much more affordable version than the Philips Hue Light Bars and they pretty much do the exact same thing as them. Govee has their own smart app which you can connect these to and you can change either of their colors how you like and there are also a bunch of pre-made scenes and lighting styles. So I usually just leave each of them on their own solid color so it's not too distracting, usually one orange and one blue and I'm a huge fan of the whole Govee smart system lighting ecosystem that they have going on, and these smart LED light bars are great by them. Then I have an Apple HomePod mini, and I upgraded this one from a four-year-old Amazon Echo Dot. I just figured since I have all Apple products, it would work well with everything, and I just really like the look of it, especially because it's blue and has that mesh material, and also when Siri comes on, I love that little animation that it does. So <laughs> pretty much the only thing I ever use it for is to turn on and off my smart speakers and the smart plug with it. So besides that, it just sits up there like a nice little accessory, but that's kind of like my smart assistant for my desk. Next, I have a modern three-in-one charging stand by a company called Kamui. It has a very unique curved design where you can charge your AirPods on the bottom, your phone in the middle through MagSafe, and then your Apple Watch at the end. It is USB-C powered and supports 15 watts of charging, which isn't fast by any means, but it's also good enough for just overnight charging. When you go to bed, just place all three on there and you'll wake up and they're always all gonna be at 100%. So it's just a nice little convenient thing. I really like how it looks. It looks super modern and contemporary. And for what it is, it works very well. So that's like the whole like charging stand that I'm rocking with my desk setup as of right now. Then I also have two O'Hill cable clips at the edge of my desk where I keep my USB-C cable and also my lightning cable there. And it's just a nice way to always have them in reach. They're just right there clipped. And anytime I need them, I just pull them off. And it also keeps everything off the floor. Just a nice way to keep cables organized. So if you don't have them, it's just a couple bucks. Go pick some up for yourself. Then for a few accessories, I also have two Funko Pops. I have Ang on the left-hand side. I have Appa on the right-hand side. Just an all-time dynamic duo. I love the show. Recently just saw it. Fantastic show. Highly recommend it. And then I also have just this fake, like, tree plant thing <laughs> I got it from five below. I thought it looked really nice. So that's kind of like my accessories around my desk setup. So that's gonna wrap up my current desk setup. I feel like things are finally starting to come together and I'm really liking how it's looking, its functionality and its versatility for all my personal needs with school and also video editing. So again, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description. And please don't forget about the Grid Studios giveaway. Instructions will be posted at the very top of the description as well. So if you're here, you might as well just enter. You have a very good chance, I would say, of winning this giveaway and it's a sick product so again thank you grid studios for like supporting this whole giveaway again i love your products and i actually was gonna buy some even before you reached out to me about it so big fan of this company i'm so glad to be doing like my first giveaway with grid studio so that's gonna be the end of the video if you enjoyed it then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe and as always have a great day everyone and cheers